you are about to learn about a new device that will revolutionize our way of lives with clean energy. In this short explanatory video presentation, we will look into a new energy device. This is not a complicated device, but easy and elegant to understand its workings. Just be open-minded and know the facts. The device's working principles are proven with prototype. Since the dawn of centuries of human civilizations, electricity highly relied on fossil fuels and other conventional sources, like coal, oils, gas, and other natural sources. Demand for the need of energy has multiplied as the world population increased. The carbon emissions from electricity generation has significantly affected our environments, so the global warming is another big concern to us globally, and we need to take actions immediately. Well, now. We look into the device's components, its five systems, and the forces that involved with it. Then, we'll look at its usefulness. Let's have a look into the device in detail. The device presented in this video presentation generates energy by harnessing the buoyancy and gravitational forces that exist in moving objects. Now, we look more deeply into the main components of the device. This is an external tank. It is made of steel and it is used to keep water. This plastic cylindrical vessel has base plate with a hole in it, and these two handlebars are used to attach the vessel to the external tank so the vessel can be in a stable position with the external tank. This plastic flange is a platform, and it has been attached to the base of the vessel to create height. This rubber gasket is attached over the flange platform. It is part of an intake valve to stop any leaks, here we can see two discs are attached to a stem, and the stem is supported by a guide. Then the guide is supported by two bars. The two bars have been attached to the vessel on each of the two sides, and at the end of the stem, a stopper is attached to restrict its movements. They are all made of aluminum. From the center of the base disc, a nylon cord is extended to lock by hand manually from outside, so a steel bolt is attached to the side of the vessel and this cord is supported by a steel eye wire strap to change direction of force of the cord. A rubber bellows is attached to the base of the vessel inside with a mounting aluminum outer ring. On top of the bellows, mounting aluminum inner rings is used to attach an aluminum top plate to it, so a chamber is created. This aluminum couplers are used to attach this nylon strings to the top plate on each of the two sides and then other ends of the strings are attached to the base disc of the intake valve with the support of steel eye wire straps to change directions of force. A small outlet hole is made in the top plate and a plastic pipe is attached to it with a plastic base flange. Finally, steel weight plate is used on top of the top plate. So the Infinity Energy device consists of five main systems or mechanisms. The first system is buoyant force providing upward lift to the top plate, and weight plate to store gravitational potential energy so expanding the bellows inside a vessel, attached to the external tank. The buoyant force is greater than the gravitational force, so 75 kg force upward force minus 20 kg force downward force, then the net force is 55 kg force, and the plate will go up until equilibrium is reached, so until the full expansion of bellows. To increase buoyant force, laterally we just need to increase the displacement of the water above the top plate. Downward force is the total weights of the weight plate and top plate, etc. The second system is floating valve system, which is using buoyant force to close intake valve so the incoming water won't get into the pressure chamber. The top plate is going up at the same time intake valve is closing due to the tension in the string caused by buoyant force as you see here. The third system is locking system, which is used to lock the intake valve of the pressure chamber. Initially, we need to lock it by hand manually, then we can also use automatic locking device. Also, another way to close the intake valve is in momentum. So, when the intake valve is closing, then use its momentum to lock the intake valve automatically like this. The fourth system is 
The Pascal lifting principle in hydraulic lifting to send pressure chamber water through a pipe above the surrounding water level by applying force of the falling weight plate, so by gravitational force. Instead of multiplying force, other way around using heavier weight of object to push the small amount of weight in this way. Look at the ratio of water and the pushing weight force gravitational is greater than the chamber water weight force. For more efficiency, the amount of water should be less. Finally, the fifth system is hydroelectric generating system. The falling water is used to generate electricity by water turbine connected to generator like this. Now, let's see how the device will work efficiently. Currently, we see our device is at rest. To make it work, Firstly, we will untie this locking cord and water in the external tank will start to flow into the pressure chamber from below. Due to lateral displacement of water above the top plate, the plate has pressure differences, high pressure of water below and low pressure of air above the top plate. The pressure chamber is expanding and the weight plate is moving with it by the upward buoyant force. After a certain level is reached, the intake valve is closing the pressure chamber due to the tensions created in both strings and the intake valve discs are coming down by buoyant force. Initially, the intake valve is locked by hand manually, then electric automatic locking device is used so water won't flow inside the pressure chamber. When the weight plate is coming back so, falling down by gravity and pressurizing the chamber water to escape through the plastic pipe. It is application of the Pascal's principle in hydraulic lifting. Then, the escaped water from the pressure chamber falls back into the external tank water and repeat the cycle, so it will be used to generate electricity by water turbine electric generator, as we can see in hydroelectric generating power plants. We use the output electrical energy for our use and the rest to lock the intake valve with automatic locking device. In this way, it creates a mechanism which is capable of providing clean, infinite energy. But this is not perpetual motion because this is not a completely isolated system from the rest of the universe, and we don't know the far future of the universe. And what if we're still not satisfied and then we need more power output from the device? To increase the energy output, then we need to expand the vessel capacity to displace water for more buoyancy, so the radius of the vessel will be increased laterally and the weight plate size so the rest of the device can be expanded laterally but the height of the vessel will remain the same to keep up the depth distance to send the water above. As a result of this, the buoyant force will increase, thus displacing more water for more power output. Not only can we use water, but we can also be able to use similar characteristic fluids, such as not easily compressible fluids like hydraulic oil or any other relatable fluids can be used. Well, now, let's see how this device can be scaled for different purposes. The provided infinite energy device can be integrated to a ship or a vessel floating in water. To enable this system, we can attach the heavy-duty device of this kind to the ship hull, inside, and not let the ship sink in. Then we let the seawater to be the surrounding water as the external tank water. Then electricity is produced with a generator to the ship propeller motor and transportation needs, etc. The provided infinite energy device can be used to build a power plant with the heavy-duty devices of its kind in offshore. To develop this kind of power plant, four concrete columns are required on stable bedrock of concrete. Then we attach the heavy-duty device to them as we attach the device to the external tank. The provided infinite energy device is so friendly and efficient that it can carry out scientific researches, such as Large Hadron Collider, LHC, with clean energy. The purpose of the device is to create sustainable, efficient, and abundance of goods and services so the resource-based economy. The Earth belongs to all, and everyone should have access to it like library without the borders. Clean, efficient, and affordable transportation of goods and services can reduce drought, poverty, terror, diseases, religious oppression, political opposition, slavery, and elite plutocrat corporate control over resources, etc. In this regard, to alleviate most of the human sufferings by giving access to clean, cheap energy of providing infinite energy device. More details and data are given in How to Get Infinite Energy book. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. Just send me an email. The email address 
is balatheaparin at yahoo.com.au. Thank you for watching.